Now I'm here to introduce you to Cody. Cody is Ormius's ecosystems, Orme Cash technology partner, and they have some of the brightest minds in the marketplace for blockchain development. So let's go check out their office. Now I'm so excited because this team has over 80 years of experience and technology combined. They're one of the best teams in the marketplace, the best team that we've ever worked with in the history of our company. It's a crucially important decision for us to find the right technology partner for the entire ecosystem. And we believe that we made the right choice with Cody. Hello, I'm uh, Costa, Cody's product manager. Uh, I'm currently working on uh, characterizing various Orme wallet features, such as uh, onboarding and KYC flow, uh, payment process, and UX design. Hi, I am Yaniv Dadon, full stack developer. I'm developing the integration between Orme point of sale and the infrastructure of Coty. Hi, my name is Shani. I'm a front end developer at Coty. I'm working on building Orme wallet interface. Tell me what's so unique about Cody. Um, I, I know there's a trust chain technology. Why don't you expand a little bit more on that, on the technical side, and how that helps the uh, double spending issues um, in chargeback scenarios? Yeah. Before going to the infrastructure level itself and how it's unique and innovative, uh, it's important to understand that Coty is a full ecosystem, meaning that it's not just giving you know everyone like Ethereum base, Bitcoin base, and infrastructure and telling the developers, okay, you can develop something on our network, but in order to deploy it, to have a token on it, to, you need to list it at a third party exchange, you need to somehow connect it if you need fiat or other stuff to be onboarded. If you need KYC, you need a separate service that needs to be integrated in your solution. All of it is very, very expensive. And in Coty, we didn't just build an infrastructure. We built the infrastructure and all the services which wrap it and build atop it and allows you to have the token usable from day one. I mean, once you deploy Omer's Cache, for example, and the solution that we are writing for you, you will have the token accessible for your user from day one. They will be able to pay with credit card, convert to the new token, buy Bitcoin for example or other tokens, deposit any crypto that they want, list the token, the unique token, the white label one, on our exchange immediately without any you know, hassles and also define if they want a stable collateralization or some you know, collateralized mechanism that it is enrolled in the system. All of it is you know integrated into the infrastructure itself as you said it is a trust chain uh, protocol trust chain means that every entity in the network every entity is not just the customer it also the merchant it also the node operator itself that running the network all of them are getting a trust score which by which we define the power of each one of them i mean for a consumer for example it's the buying power it's how trustworthy he is in the network uh, how many transactions can he, the, you know, uh, transact in uh, in the first phase, in the in the second phase, and in the later phases? Uh, for merchant, it actually defines the fees that he can take from user, the rolling reserve that we will require from him, and uh, also it's like a ranking that you don't have in other platform. If you embed, for example, for your solution, PayPal or other solutions, you won't have the ranking of the merchant. You won't know his history of transaction, how he you know, transact between users, did he provide the product at all? Uh, and for us, it's like, okay, you want to transact with this guy? This is his trust score. Mm. You decide if it's trustworthy for you or not, if you wish to transact with him, wow. and stuff like that. And for node operator, it's how you transact in the network itself. I mean, how many transactions that you, the, your node have confirmed, uh, how many uh, balances you need to uh, adjust, were you sync with the network or not, are you available or not. This will define how you behave as a node operator sure. and by that you know you will attract more users to transact with your node and not with other nodes in the network. Wow. That's uh, amazing. It's amazing to be able to utilize technology really to create trust inside of the environment and giving people a score, it's, it's such, a, such an amazing idea. I've, I've never seen anything, anything like it. Yeah, I mean, if, if you take the, you know, the, the real world or the current, or we call it the old world, <laughs> and a way of thinking of trust, you define it by industry, not really about how risky this entity is within the network. 
And for us, it's something that the system learns in real time. I mean, we'll give you an initial trust score, which is based on several parameters, maybe KYC that it is required in some use cases. This will define your init trust score, but other than that, all of the other trust score adjustments are behavioral. I mean, it's how you transact in the network and not how you are reflected to the industry or as a, as a consumer. It's not based on your history of credits or stuff like that. Uh, continuing this, uh, you know, uh, we have another layer which is called the protection layer, which is actually the double spend uh, prevention node. This node, it's like, it's like the network is built in a sharding architecture, meaning that you don't have the same amount of nodes for each uh, level of, uh, of nodes in the, the, in the network. So the higher level are the trust score and the DSP nodes. Not anyone can be a trust score or, or DSP sure. node operator okay. because you need to have a high trust score and for us to be able to trust you. So you will begin as a full node operator and then be upgraded to a trust score or DSP node operator. And there are some restrictions on that because this is a very bottleneck of the network. Those are more highly trusted uh, nodes in the network, which defines the balances. Only them can sign which transaction is confirmed or not in the network. But if you compare it to other network, you don't need the consensus from all the nodes in the network. You only need the consensus for the DSP and the trust core nodes in order right. to, transa the, to approve a transaction. So the transaction flow is actually quicker, mm -hmm. but it still prevent uh, transaction from being approved or you know, having a 51% uh, attacks because you can't have control of all the DSP nodes in the network. They are also divided into clusters which prevent anyone to control any zone in the network. And the propagation itself works that the full nodes will validate it, the, the transaction at first level, the DSP will sign it and will confirm it uh, as a, you know, a second layer uh, validation all the DSPs needs to reach a consensus on any transaction and only after that the full node will say to the wallet, okay, this transaction is, is okay. But since you don't, the propagation is not through all the network, it's, it's actually a very immediate uh, settlement. You don't need all, like in Bitcoin, you don't need all the consensus of the network in order to reach a consensus. Sure. So then it would work for faster transaction spaces like uh, toll booths or yeah. places where you're paying for gasoline or to where you wanted to get a cup of coffee and not have to wait 30 exactly. minutes for the Bitcoin transaction. To, exactly. So it, it solves that problem. Now, um, I know a lot of people um, might not have got completely what you were just saying about how technical that was, but it really gives a really excellent uh, overview of really what you're doing on the technology side. You guys really have your, have your business together and it's very exciting to be be partnered with you. Is there anything else that uh, that you want to share um, with our community about how the Omnis Cash in the system and um, how that the two companies work together? Yeah, actually the Omnis Cash uh, use case for us is the, is the first white label solution that we are going to provide and it's a very exciting one because it actually integrates the real world into the new world as we call it, the real, uh, you know, the old money with the new money and uh, being able to buy coffee or something at any restaurant with your uh, Ormers uh, wallet is going to be immediate, it's going to be integrated based on your trust and stuff like that. You can define other uh, more complicated uh, mechanisms which are stable, stabilization, maybe loyalty later on. And this will allow really uh, access to any, any person which didn't have the real access to Bitcoin or to Ethereum. It wasn't the flow that is used to and accustomed to use. And this is something that is going to look similar to what you are using right now, but adapted to the cryptocurrency and to the blockchain world. And that's exciting also for us and not just for you. Very exciting. It's very exciting to know that we're able to come up with this amazing type of revision and now with our large uh, distributor base and large consumer base um, and with just really large number of people that are able to almost create like an Uber type environment for cryptocurrency. We, we believe that um, the partnership that we put together here is really what's going to bring the cryptocurrency industry into the next level and the next phase of growth.